Okay, welcome back to my channel, Brain Logic. Really interesting, tricky challenge today. It looks like the easiest question you've ever seen, but a lot of students make this common mistake right here. What question we have? We have 4 plus 4 times 0. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy. We have very simple addition, very simple multiplication. We have 4, 4, 0. So it's not like a huge value right here. We have like a regular expression without any like exponent powers, and it's really great. And right now let's check our knowledge right here. Let's pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. We have three options, A, B, and C. So right now, choose one option, what do you think is a correct, and write your option down into the comment section. This is very, very tricky challenge, and I hope we will solve this absolutely correctly. But a lot of students do this mistake. I'm going to show you this mistake here in just 30 seconds. So it will be really interesting. So first of all, here is our challenge. Let's rewrite it. I write it as, as first interpretation. So we have 4 plus 4 and times 0. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, here's our challenge, and a lot of students know that if you multiply the expression by 0, the correct answer is 0. For example, we have 4 plus 4, which is equal to 8. If we multiply this 8 by 0, we have 0 as a correct answer. And doesn't matter what value we have on the left-hand side. For example, we have like 10 times 0, doesn't matter. The correct answer will be 0. And a lot of students choose this option A, and they say option A is a correct answer. So right now, um, let's check this answer with this second interpretation, because obviously right here, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we should understand what is the correct order to do this problem. So addition first, then multiplication, or multiplication first, then addition. This is maybe the key moment right here. And right here, this is really important moment, because a lot of students think that they solve this absolutely correctly. We have multiplication by zero, and the correct answer, uh, correct, correct answer is zero. And right now, let's solve this question according to this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. So right now let's forget about this first interpretation. Let's solve this question with this second interpretation. This is like a very randomly interpretation. We solve this question absolutely randomly, absolutely chaotic. And right now let's solve this, let's check this zero with this second interpretation. But this second interpretation, we'll, we will solve this according to PMDMC. So second interpretation according to a correct order of operation in terms of mass. This first interpretation is absolutely randomly solution. And let's check what answers we will have in the end. So let's go to, to the other second interpretation, okay? Here's our order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, and this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so from in a strict order from the top to the bottom, so parentheses, the highest priority, addition, subtraction, the lowest priority, okay? So right now, let's scan what elements do we have real quick. So we have 4 plus 4 and times 0, okay? Here's our first step. The first step is parentheses. Let's scan where do we have this parentheses. Let's look at it. I don't see any of those, so we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses. What about exponent? Let's scan real quick. I don't see an exponent. We don't have a, like a 4 square, 4 cube. We don't have it, so we just skip this part. If we have it, we should like raise this before going to the next step. Okay, multiplication division part. Let's scan where do we have our elements. Multiplication division sign. Let's look at it right here. Addition. We are not interested in this addition right now. We have multiplication sign, but we apply only this multiplication side to these two values, 4 and the 0. This is really important moment. So we find our first step. This is multiplication multiplication part, and we don't have division part. So it looks like our first step is, is multiplication is our first step. Let's do this. And we apply this multiplication only to these two values. So we have 4 plus 4 times 0 equal to equal to 0. Okay, and let's go to the last step. As you can see right here, we have very simple addition, and we have this, this addition right here, and it looks like our second step is to solve this addition part. Right now we don't need any order of operation because this is very basic addition. Everyone knows about this addition. So the correct answer right here is, is 4. And right now really important moment because right here we find we solve this. It looks like correctly correct solution. We had answer 0. That right now we have this answer 4. And which one is correct? This is really important moment because a lot of students uh, all over the world divided with this to, uh, with this uh, solution. One part of student tell that correct answer is 0. Another part of student tell that correct answer is 4. And here is my answer. Of course course, correct solution is 4, because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. What about this solution? This solution is absolutely randomly. We solve this question whatever we want. We just add it first, then multiply, which is really bad in terms of mass. So addition is after multiplication all the time. So addition subtraction group is all the time after multiplication division. So saying in other words, if you want to 
if you want to solve this question, you should multiply it first, then add. This is a very bad solution, but with one really interesting moment, I write this first interpretation because I want you to understand that with parentheses, this expression will be okay because we have parentheses at first, we have 4 plus 4 equal to 8, and then multiplication by 0. So parentheses first step, and then this addition will have like the higher priority than multiplication because this addition is inside parentheses, which is first step. So with parentheses, 0 is a correct answer. So I write right here, 0 is a correct answer with parentheses in this first interpretation. In our case, we don't have this uh, parentheses, so the correct answer is option B. Our answer, our answer is option B to this to this challenge. So here's my solution to this problem. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong and I hope you solved this question absolutely correctly. I hope you choose this option B which is really good and if you can you can easily check this question in your scientific graphing calculator but don't use your regular calculator because you know sometimes happen the calculator works with this problem as you type it in. So for example you plug in this question in your say in your regular calculator and for example you plug in 4 plus 4 and sometimes calculator gives you answer 8 instantly. Calculators don't know about this multiplication okay. So try to put the whole problem and then the calculator know okay I have multiplication first and then and then addition which is really important step because sometimes calculator works with problem as you type it in so you should multiply it first then add but for this you should plug in the entire the entire problem into your calculator. So here's my explanation to this problem. Uh, I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learn something new and I hope you enjoy this video. But if you need help with any of these classes, I have a ton of videos with basic math, pre-algebra concept. It is really interesting and really great. So I hope you understand this video. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.